Engagement sessions are one of my very favorite things to do. It's this time when you can just get to know your couple so well and it's like this intimate level. On an engagement session, I know it can be uncomfortable, so I try to do everything I can to make it as comfortable as possible. So I'll, you know, chat with my clients. I'll, um, you know, just try to make them feel really comfortable because it, as you see, there's people walking by. We're in a public place sometimes. And I need to show them that I'm really comfortable so that they can feel really comfortable. And it's just like this connection between me and them. And it becomes a dance. For my guys, a lot of times I'll tell them to put their hands in the pocket. It's just less distracting because they don't have a lot to do. I consider myself kind of like a mirror for my, for my couple. So they don't have a mirror in front of them, so I definitely adjust hair, adjust what they do with their hands, just tell them pretty much everything what to do. And keep it light, you know? Speaking of light, oh gosh. When you're in neighborhoods like this and there's cars everywhere and it's not the exact perfect place to shoot, just look for light. If you find yourself in that, position when you're like, gosh, I'm feeling a little stuck. That's what I always say. Just look for the light. Um, sometimes if I see someone that's extra special, I'll show my clients the photo, but I don't really do that all the time. But that one was extra special and this was a fashionista bride, so she wanted to see a cute photo of the gem. We end at this like beautiful location where the sun's about to close and it's gorgeous. And basically, I'm just telling them like the light's gonna wrap around you. It's insane. Look at this beautiful location. Definitely make sure to get details. Like in this, I'm using my macro lens. I go up really close, get an awesome shot of that engagement ring that he spent so much time picking out. I also oftentimes like just kind of remind them about like look behind you, look at what's going on. It's so beautiful. I'm very explanatory of what I'm looking for. Here I'm telling her to make an S shape with her body because it kind of gives her this excuse to look sexy but effortless. For me, like I would need a photographer to tell me that, you know? Because having your picture taken can sometimes be uncomfortable. So while my, um, my, my couple's changing, a lot of times I'll go and like look for the next place I'm gonna shoot. Oh, and that's so cute. Like that's just her friend that came out taking a picture. Um, and you know, these are the last shots. We try to make them super fun. And one thing I always do is I want to give my bride and groom something in real time. So I'll take an iPhone pic. And right here I'm using VSCO Cam and you can see how I edit in VSCO Cam in this video. Stay inspired.